Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name is Uwana Udo and every week I share content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. Now, before we jump right in, I just want to have a little disclaimer. I am not a tax professional. I am not a financial advisor. Anything I say here is just for entertainment purpose only and you should do your due diligence before you listen to some guy on YouTube. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's jump right in. So I'm sure from the title of this video, uh, you were probably curious about um, finding out what I had to say about this topic. So um, the main thing is, can you, can you save $100 per month for 30 years and become a millionaire? Well, that is a tongue in cheek question. Now, if you go on social media today or if you go online today, you see a lot of people, you know, who are telling you to invest your money, to, you know, put away, you know, a small amount of money. And for so many years, you're going to end up becoming wealthy. Now, there is some truth to that. However, this is the reality of life or this is the reality of what will happen to you if you do what they're telling you to do. Now, I have a little printout here, which I'm just going to go over. Um, I am, it's, it's very easy for you to um, do this computation or to carry out this experiment. Because like I once heard, you know, math don't lie. Men and women lie. So the numbers are the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Okay. It's all about math. So when you hear a lot of people on social media you know, talking about, oh, you can save a hundred dollars a month and eventually you're going to end up wealthy. Um, I beg to differ with that. I'm not saying investing isn't great. Investing is great. However, investing takes time and investing takes resources. So you have to have the money to begin with to be able to invest for you to become a millionaire. Now, I don't claim to be a millionaire. But I have other options that eventually will get me where I need to get to. I'm not knocking down investing. Investing is great. I invest in things. I invest in businesses. I also have some investments in the market, but I'm not looking at that to make me a millionaire. So let's break down some numbers for you. So let's assume today, okay, today is September 21st, 2021. That I'm shooting this video so if you end up watching this video a few some weeks or months or years from now I'm giving you a reference point so today is September 21st 2021 so now the computation I did which is very easy for you to do as well you can go online and Google you know um, savings calculator and that will also give you the same numbers that I have here so my assumption okay is starting today if you invest a hundred dollars okay you put in a hundred dollars and then every month thereafter you put away a hundred dollars in the stock market okay and let's assume that you put you do this for 30 years and on average throughout the history of the stock market so let's assume that you're earning eight percent annual return rate on your hundred dollars a month investment now based on my calculation so you're starting off with a hundred dollars and you're investing for 30 years and you add in a hundred dollars per month and you're earning an eight percent compounded annual interest okay so the total amount you will have contributed during this period will have been thirty six thousand one hundred dollars total interest that you will have accumulated based on this assumption so don't forget I'm using certain criteria. the total interest you will have earned will be hundred and six thousand six hundred and sixty seven dollars and fifty six cents for a total end of investment of hundred and forty two thousand seven sixty seven and fifty six cents does that make you a millionaire after 30 years I beg to differ so when you hear people tell you, invest $100 a month, and after 30 years, you become wealthy, you need to sit down and do the math yourself. 
So I just broke that down for you. So go online, go to Google, search uh, savings calculator, and plug in these numbers I just gave you. So starting amount, $100. Years to invest will be 30 years, okay? Uh, rate of return will be 8%. An additional contribution every month will be $100 a month. You will end up with total interest of $106,667.56 and total at end of investment of $142,767.56. So when you hear someone tell you, all you have to do is just invest $100 a month and after 30 years, you become a multimillionaire. They're lying to you, okay? I just showed you that. They're lying to you. So you can do this yourself. You don't need no financial advisor to crunch these numbers for you. Unfortunately, people are lazy. I'm sorry to say, people are lazy when it comes to their personal finance. People are lazy when it comes to their financial freedom, okay, their financial independence. Most people will spend more time researching a handbag or researching an electronics or a cell phone or researching vacation trips, but they won't spend a few seconds, you know, doing stuff that would better them financially. On the flip side, this is what I found out if you want to become a millionaire in 30 years. So we're going to use the same scenario. So you are going to start off again with $100 initial investment into your account. And you're going to invest for 30 years. But this time, you're going to invest $705 per month. All right, and the same 8% compounded annually, the total amount you will have contributed will have been $253,900. Your total interest that you will have earned from your investment will have been $746,523.71 for a grand total of $1,000,000. $423.71. Now, why did I do that? I just wanted to show you that saving $100 a month for the next 30 years will not make you a millionaire. However, if you save $705 every month for 30 years, you will end up a millionaire. Now, why did I use that number? Now, most people would rather spend $705 on a car payment, on a depreciating asset, instead of putting $705 into an investment. So if you believe in the stock market, suck away $705 every single month for 30 years and you'll be a millionaire. So if you're in your 20s right now, use this blueprint and by the time you're in your 50s, you'll be a millionaire. If you're in your 30s, by the time you're in your 60s, you'll be a millionaire. If you're in your 40s, by the time you're in your 70s, you'll be a millionaire. I happen to be in my 50s. So if I, if I save $705 every single month for the next 30 years, which would put me at 80, I'll become a millionaire, all right? So you can do this yourself. You can go to Google, find the savings calculator, and tweak the numbers, okay? Like I said, these are just assumptions I'm making. I'm assuming that you're gonna save the money for 30 years. I'm assuming that your average annual return will be 8% to, to, you know, a year, because the, don't forget, if you put your money in the stock market, there are years when the stock market will, you know, will decline, there'll be a bull run, there'll be, you know, um, a, a bear run, so it depends. But on average, the stock market averages about 8%. So to be conservative, we're gonna use 8, 8%. Now, if you end up earning more, good for you. However, don't forget, it's the stock market we're talking about, okay? Things go down, things go up, and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure that you do your due diligence. So when you listen to people online, be careful who you listen to, and they tell you, oh, just suck away 100 bucks a month, and for the next 30 years, you know, you're going to be living off your investments. That is a lie. Now, my other solution for most people would be to start a business. If you start a business today, all right, and you stick to it, 
There are no guarantees in life. However, you, be, you stand a better chance of becoming a millionaire in a faster time than if you're sucking away $100 a month for the next 30 years. So I hope this was an eye opener for you. Um, don't just listen to people out there. Don't just follow trends. Don't just follow what people are saying. Sit down and crunch the numbers yourself. Okay. I, I, I did that in a few seconds. All right. It took me a few seconds to crunch these numbers, okay? And don't forget, I'm using assumptions, okay? I am assuming that you're going to put away $705 every single month for the next 30 years at 8%. Now, a lot of people have access to $705. A lot of people have access to $350 because that's a car payment. You know, $400 is a car payment. $500 is a car payment. $1,000 is a car payment for some people okay so don't get caught up you know with oh saving a hundred dollars a month will get you where you need to get to all right so investment takes needs a lot of money you need money to invest however you can start a business on a shoestring and build it up okay so thank you so much for joining me today i didn't want to drag this on but i just wanted to prove a point to someone out there that was um you know you know what, what really happens is when you start growing, when you start, um, you know, telling people the truth, you get pushback from people. You know, you get people that try to put you down. And I'm just trying to make a point to someone who was telling me, oh, you can just invest a hundred bucks. No, you cannot. You cannot become a millionaire investing a hundred dollars a month for the next 30 years. Okay. So thank you again for joining me. Thank you to all my subscribers for helping grow this channel. And as I said, I have links down below on things that you can do to better yourself and get yourself to the next level. So if you like this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you of my latest videos. Okay. Thank you again for being here. And make sure you watch the next video coming up. It contains information that you find important. All right. Catch you on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.